Behind me is a coastal bank. It's one of the things that's made Nantucket, Nantucket. Back about 14, 15,000 years ago, a giant glacier, almost a half a mile thick where we're standing, came down from the Canadian Peninsula in Canada and pushed all the way down here, extending the sea 130 mile south of us. This Laurentide, Wisconsin glacier formed Nantucket. We were at the terminal moraine of this glacier and there are large um, valleys and, and large pieces of rock that were deposited. About 14,000 years ago, this glacier started to melt and retreat further north. As it retreated, it dropped large chunks of stone, uh, large rocks, and um, started going back, and the sea level started rising. As sea level ro rose, what was primarily just a little bump in the ocean became this island, the island of Nantucket. Behind me is a coastal bank that was formed during that time, and right now it's eroding. And In a coastal environment, you're going to have three or four different types of habitats. You're going to have a coastal beach, which is right below my feet, a coastal bank, which is a, a large uh, bank that rises usually anywhere from four to five feet, sometimes 20 feet, sometimes 100 feet. And then you're going to have coastal dunes, and in some cases, a barrier spit or a barrier island that is protecting something like a salt marsh behind it, and a coastal dune field. These are all typical habitats that you're going to find and that we can find here at the field station. So as we're sitting here on this beach, we can look down and see all of these rocks that were pushed down here from New Hampshire and from Maine and from Massachusetts, pushed down by the glacier, and then as it retreated, it dropped all of these rocks. This habitat is a fairly high energy habitat, and it's formed by the eroding coastal bank behind me. So in the last two or three storms, specifically Sandy in 2012 and um, hurricane, or which was a true hurricane, and two nor'easters that occurred in 2013, uh, one in February of 2013, Nemo, and the less famous one, Saturn, in March of 2013, all three of those managed to strip all the vegetation off this coastal bank, which was bad for us. We lost quite a bit of land, but it's good for you because you can see some of the coastal material that's in this bank. You can see there's a lot of sand in it, some clay knobs, uh, large stones. If you look closely, you're going to see shells. There was tons of different shells left here by the Wampanoags, which were the original inhabitants of this island. And you can see that all the vegetation has been stripped. So as this bank starts to recover, this vegetation is going to regrow. We're going to have bayberry and beach grass, poison ivy, and different types of um, salt marsh grasses that are going to start covering this bank and revegetating it. All beaches have um, some variation in the material that they're made of. As this material comes off of the coastal bank, it's going to fall down onto this beach. It's going to be picked up by waves and moved down drift. So this material is going to form beaches further down drift of us, which can vary where, depending on where you're at on the island. If for some reason we stopped this bank from eroding, this beach beneath me would no longer exist and we wouldn't be building uh, area down drift of here. So it's important to have coastal banks. They also provide homes for things like bank swallows, um, lots of different creatures use this habitat, and lots of creatures use the, the beach habitat itself. You'll find shorebirds that are going to be eating things like amphipods and isopods that live within the rack line. If you don't know what a rack line is, it's the very vegetation that was in the sea that was left by the last high tide. That forms a great habitat for lots of little creatures, little crabs and things, and things like sandpipers will come along and eat those um, little miniature insects that are in that area. So this is a beach habitat that's important not only for protecting our land, but for providing habitat for a variety of creatures.